Hello children, how are you all? So today we are going to learn about one more freedom fighter who you know all, very well known person. Do you know who is that? Famous person, especially uh, our country to got the independence means that person is only the main person. Yes, you found this I think so, you can remember. Yes, who is that? Father of our nation also. Very good. Now you got it? Mahatma Gandhi. What is that? Who is that? Mahatma Gandhi. Right? So, what happened in his life? A small incident that we can learn in this. That is always be careful. Are you careful always or careless? Very careful now. So, we must be careful always. So, for that, he, in his life, what is the story? What is the in incident happen? That we can see in this story. Okay, children. Let's get into the story. Did you ever behave carelessly? Of course, every day you are behaving carelessly. No? Yes. Daily you forget your pens, books, pencils. Mama, my lost, you are telling me. So, are you careless or not? Yes, should be very careful. Otherwise, what kind of punishment you get? Let's see in this lesson. Is behaving carelessly good or bad? You tell me. Is it good or bad? Later you worry, tense about your books, na, na? books, pencils, all these you worry about. Na? So is it good or bad? Yes, bad. What result did you get of your carelessness? What result do you get it? First you get too much of tension and you lose so many things. Na? That is, is it good hobby? No. So, a, uh, a careless person does not think about what they are doing. So, say this. Remember, a careless person does not think about, does not think about what they are doing. So, what are they doing? They never think. So, be careful. Either you are careful. Do you think what you are doing or not? Yes. That means, can you be careless? No. If you still you are careless means you are not thinking properly. You are not doing your work properly. Alright. So, they make mistakes, hurt people and damage things also. So, if you are careless means what happened? They, you may do some mistakes and you lose some things and damage some things and hurt other people also. Is it good? No. See this. So read the story of Manu who lost the stone of Gandhiji due to her carelessness and was taught a lesson of being careful by Gandhiji later. So here we can see how Gandhiji taught a lesson to Manu because of her careless. What she did it. So what is what she did? We can see in this. Okay children. Say this. The incident occurred in Nokali, Noakali. So that is one of the places in, a, in the North India. This incident occurred in Noakali, Noakali. So after the Hindu Muslim riots, Gandhiji toured the area on foot to reassure and comfort the people. The incident occurred in Noakali and after the Hindu Muslim riots, Riots means a protest by a crowd. Hindu Muslim, all they did it. So Gandhiji toured the area on foot to reassure and comfort the people. So some riots, protests in those days by the number of people. Riots, R-I-O-T-S. R-I-O-T-S. Riots means... A protest. Protest means all the people gather and they uh, do some work in a rallies like this. So, the, a protest uh, by a crowd. So, who are there in that? Hindu, Muslim, both, all. And Gandhiji toured. Toured means he went to the to, to meet all the people. Where? The area on foot. So, to that place where those people are. And... On foot, by walk only he went to reassure and comfort the people. So why did he go there? To reassure and comfort the people. Reassure means 
whatever the doubts and fears to say to talk them to talk to them whatever the doubts and fears they have to know about them that he went what is my reassure r e a s s u r e reassure nan reassure means say or do something say or do something to remove the doubts to remove the doubts or fears to remove the doubts and fears so the people they were afraid of something and they have some kind of doubts so to clarify them to talk about that to talk to them this gandhi ji went to that place on foot by what he went there and what happened there we can see he would set off from a village soon after dawn and arrive at the next village after sunset he would set off from a village set off means start to work so from a village at the dawn so dawn means you know yes morning sun dawn appearance of the light first appearance of the light we call it dawn so morning total night completes morning 5:30 6 o'clock light we get it na first light that we call it before getting the so before coming the sun and after completion of uh, dark that part we call it dawn so first light first light in the morning first light in the morning that we call it dawn okay so they start their work that by walking he is going to different different villages and people at that time morning whenever sun sun dawn it's happened sunrise he goes he starts his work and by sunset he reaches another village so like that he plan on arrival he would first attend to his work then he would take a bath so on arrival whenever he reach another village so first he would attend to the work uh, and later fall do he does the bath every day at that time evening time so gandhi ji used a rough stone to clean his feet by walking they are going na so like that pim stone so like that a stone is there he always used that stone to clean his feet to protect it from the dust by walk if they go without sandals ma so that's why too much of dust they get it na to clean that one he uses a stone so the uh, mira ban had given this stone to him many years ago and gandhi ji had kept it carefully ever since so mira ban has given this one so that's why he kept that stone very carefully generally stones means never uh, uh, um, uh, melt easily so that's why he has taken and he kept it very carefully also he took it with him everywhere so he was going na wherever he was going he had taken that uh, stone also along with him one evening after they had arrived at a village and manu was getting gandhi ji's bath ready she noticed that the stone was missing so here so one day when they reached the village so this manu is uh, ready the water for the bath of gandhi ji at that time she observed she forgot the stone somewhere the stone was missing so then she looked everywhere but could not find it so this manu went to total place and she tried to find where is that stone but she couldn't find it she told gandhi ji that the stone was lost and added it must have been left behind the we was house where we stayed yesterday what should i do now so mira felt were read about it and the she went to gandhi and told yes this uh, missed so uh, this stone was not uh, it must have been left over so i lost the stone gandhi ji that the stone was lost so 
I couldn't find that stone anywhere. Maybe it was lost. That she said. And she has a doubt. That's why she said, I must have been left behind. It must have been left behind. The weaver's house. Yesterday night we were at the weaver's house in another village. No? Maybe we left there. So that stone that she said. So what should I do now? So what can I do? That she asked. Gandhiji thought for a moment. So what can you do? What is the punishment? Because that is your careless. So a moment he thought. Then he said, go and fetch the stone. Go and fetch. Bring it. Fetch means a man. Bring. Go and bring. That we call it fetch. So go and fetch the stone. Go and bring the stone. But that is somewhat far away and forest. See that. So go and get the stone. If you suffer once, you will not forget another time. Your parents will give this kind of punishment. Then you will be very careful. Right? Will you get this kind of punishment? Shall I intimate your parents? See, if you go this way, if you suffer once to go there and to get it, man, it's very difficult. Na? So, if you suffer once, you will not be careless. You will not forget any time. That he said. So, can I take someone with me? Manu asked. So, Manu afraid of it. That's why. Can I take someone along with me? Why? Gandhiji asked. Why? Gandhiji questioned her. Manu was silent. So he said why means very high voice. Then be quiet. Manu also kept quiet. She did not want to admit that she was frightened to go alone. So frightened, afraid, fear. Right? So F-R-I-G-H-T-E-N-E-D. Frightened means afraid or fear. Afraid or fear so but she was very fearful she was afraid of that to go there but she didn't tell that one so she did not want to admit that she was frightened to go alone she doesn't want to tell that she was afraid of that to go there alone the road out to the village lay through forests of betel nut and coconut and it was very e and it was easy to lose one's way. So, how can she go? The way is in the middle of the forest. And beetle leaves, love you know beetle leaves. That beetle leaves, coconut uh, plants, very big trees. So, in that night time to go means can we go? Can you go? No. Right? So, but that kind of punishment. So, easily they can forget the way also. That kind of one. So alone to go means she was afraid of it. That's why she asked. But he didn't accept. So besides Manu was barely 16 years old and she had never gone anywhere alone. Why did she ask? One is she, one once, first of all she is 16 years age old. Of course she is big only. Why means she didn't go anywhere with, uh, without anyone. Always she went with someone only. But now all of a sudden she should go alone means can she go? No. That's why she was afraid. But she could not think of an answer. So she could not think what why means she didn't get any answer. She could not tell what was the reason. So I was afraid of that uh, area. I may lose a way like that she didn't say. So and then so Manu took the path they had taken earlier in the day. So that morning session only they came from that. Na? Again in the same way she was going carefully following the old footprints. She managed to reach the village and find the weaver's house at last. Very carefully finding the footprints because morning only they came. So, finding the footprints, at last she reached the weaver's house. But what happened? The old woman who lived there recognized her and welcomed her warmly. Warmly means heartily, very pleasantly. What ma? Warmly. W-A-R-M-L-Y. Warmly means pleasantly or happily. Pleasantly or 
happily. So she welcomed her because that day morning only they left. Na? That's why she recognized. So yes. And then said, tired and rather irritated, Manu told her why she had come. So she was so tired because again she walked back. Na? She was so tired and later irritated. So with that feeling, she asked, why did she come back to that place? So but the old woman did not think that the bit of stone was so valuable and she had thrown it away with the rubbish. So that's just a stone. That's why she didn't think about it. Why did the Manu go there to take that stone? So she said, the old, man, the old woman said, very sorry, I didn't think that is that much of valuable stone. That's why I threw that in the rubbish. Rubbish means dust. So I threw that in the dust, she said. So rubbish. Rubbish means dust bin, we call it ma. Or else wasted one. Wasted material. Where do we keep wasted material? That is a dust bin only, na? So... I throw that in the rubbish, that she said. So the bo they both began to search for it. So in that uh, rubbish, trash, where they keep it, from that waste, they started to search it. At last, much to Manu's joy, they found it. So from the waste, so again they started to find it. At last, to the relief to the Manu, to her happiness, yes, she they found it. And Manu felt very happy. Manu had left the house at 7.30 in the morning. By the time she returned, it was past 1 in the afternoon. So, by the morning 7.30, she started and she returned at 1.30 almost, 1 o'clock. So, afternoon. So, next, uh, she had walked nearly 15 miles. So, almost she walked 15 miles there. Miles means, you know, one and a half kilometer, generally we say one mile. Ma. So, 15 miles she walked. 15 miles she walked. Na. So, very lengthy. Na. One and a half kilometer. So, that means 15 plus half, seven and a half, 22 and a half kilometers nearly that is. So, worn out, hungry and irritated. She went straight to Gandhiji and put the stone in the lap. Then she burst into tears. So then when she came, so very hungry, irritated, directly she went to Gandhi and she kept that stone in the lap of Gandhiji and she started to cry out. So burst into tears. This turn was a real test for you, Gandhiji told her. Gently, very smoothly, gently. What is ma? Gently, G-E-N-T-L-Y. Gently means smoothly. Gently means smoothly. So very smoothly, very pleasantly he said. Yes, you feel this is just a stone. But this stone was a real test for you. So how what for your carelessness. So do you know that this stone has been with me for the last 25 years? Do you know the value of this? For the last 25 years, this stone is with me. It has gone with me any, everywhere and uh, the, uh, from jails to mansions. So it has gone with me. It has come with me everywhere. If I go to jail, yes, in those days they were in the jails now. Yes, in the jail or even in the mansions. Mansions means a very big house. Nowadays, big villas, we have mansion, we keep it. No? Yes, mansion means big house. M-A-N-S-I-O-N-S. Mansions. Mansions, ma? a large, impressive house or large or big house. That we call it mansions. So, that he said, wherever I go, a big house if I am going or else to the jail I am going, everywhere it should be with me only. I can easily get another stone like it. But I wanted you to learn that it is bad to be careless. Yes, after it is stone, you feel it. First of all, this is for 25 years with me. And one more is, 
This is just a stone. I can buy it another. But this is a lesson to you to teach for your carelessness. That he said. So, and uh, that is a learn that it is bad to be careless. So, is it good to be careless? No, that's why I taught a lesson to you. I have never prayed as hard as I did today, said Manu. So, what Manu said? I had never prayed as hard as I did. But today I prayed to God and I felt so worried. I felt hardship, very hard work I did it. So, I want to make women brave and fearless, Gandhi said. So, I was afraid of that, she said. But Gandhi said, yes, that is, don't worry about it. That I can be. So, uh, I did this one because women always should be very brave and fearless. You should not be very care careless at the same time. Why did I send you alone means you should be very brave and uh, fearless. That's why I sent you al alone. So, today, not only you, but I too learnt a lesson. So, not only you, Manu, I also learnt a lesson that he said. Manu did not say anything. But she must have thought that Gandhiji's methods were very unusual. Unusual means different. That is, later Manu, that Manu didn't say any answer. But later she realized, she thought that his uh, opinions, his works are always unusual, different. Okay. So, Gandhi's methods were very unusual. Unusual means ma. U N U S U A L. Usual means habitual or regular. Unusual means not habitual or different. Not habitual or different. So Man Gandhiji's ideas are things always different. Na? So that here Gandhiji thought about that. Okay. So at the same time, Manu thought about Gandhi and Gandhi also. How he taught a lesson to that girl for her carelessness. And at the same time, what he expected about the woman should be always very brave. Brave and uh, fearless. Okay, children. So, this is the lesson. How Gandhi taught a lesson to Manu for her carelessness. Okay, children. Read this story again and you can understand more.